welcome or welcome back to our channel this is handy i'm making this video about the movie the witches and how we are not happy with their portrayal of limb differences hi my name's shannon jessica smith kaylee flaker briny mr holly ayers claire cashmore emily judith hamer Ellie knox becky i'm ruth madeley alex my little girl lanny hello my name's amy Marin. as you can see i am missing my right hand Oh hey, hi, hello. My name is Nicole Kelly and I also live my life with what's called a congenital limb difference. So the Witches movie has come out and it is without doubt a problem. This whole week we've heard about kids not wanting to go to school for fear of being bullied or actually going to school and then being bullied. I mean, that should tell you everything you need to know about this movie. So secondly, I want to talk about Warner Brothers and their apology. Apology. If you can't tell, I'm trying to do air quotations because I can't do them. <laughs> oh, what an apology, really, to say, I'm sorry that you're offended. Sort of just felt like deal with it. To me, I didn't feel like this statement was very sincere. From my point of view, it sounded as though they were apologizing that we were offended, not apologizing the fact that they actually used this condition. It wasn't much of an apology, let's just say that. I thought it was pretty poor, <laughs> to be honest. Sorry, you feel like that really, it's not really on us. So basically just kind of get over it. I thought it was very insincere. It was a lot of excuses, and I don't think really understanding how impactful this could be. It felt like it was just a box ticking exercise. Their apology definitely is not enough. No, that's not an apology. It was a little bit bland, like there was nothing really in there. It just kind of felt like it was passing the buck. Pretty corporate apology. I was very disappointed to see that. It's the least they could have done, I think. Actually very angry to see that because it's just like, we don't matter. I don't think it's enough. It's not. Regardless of intention, you should always, always own up to the effects of something that you produce, that you spent a lot of money putting out into the world, I think, regardless of what you were thinking. I think you should take a little bit of ownership with this. And also, can we just really laugh about this? Because they basically said they wanted to make sure the witch's hands looked cat-like, looked like cat claws. Her hands do not look like cat-like claws to me. Have they not seen a cat? It just looks like a hand with the middle two fingers missing, which is exactly the same as ectrodactyly. Sorry, it wasn't meant to look like your hands get over it. It doesn't resemble a clap claw in the slightest. What the actual F? We're calling them fantastical non-human creatures, kind of putting it more on people for being upset and offended by it rather than owning up to the fact that they did something that could be upsetting. It was Hollywood possessing their privilege and power. And to say that they didn't realise that making an unhuman like creature would be associated with people like myself. Well, that says everything. Quite disappointed and I think we need to see some change. I think it's good that they've apologised, but I think they need to do more and I'm certainly going to be pushing for that. In no way, shape or form acknowledges the fact that this does lasting damage to our community. So whoever was on the production team or whoever were the designers for this, I think it's a really bad move. And I'm glad that all of this has come of it. So one, whoever allowed the limb difference characteristic to happen, there will be multiple people that let's happen, is like, what were you thinking? And secondly, who the hell wrote this apology? No, it's not good enough. And I think there need to be assurances that this isn't gonna happen again, because it's just not good enough. In 2020, I'm sorry, but it's not. It's not good enough. Not good enough. And I don't accept your apology. That's it. There's no real action being done. It in no way acknowledges steps or actions that they plan to take in the future. What are we looking for? We're looking for actionable change. We're looking for, you know, maybe a disclaimer at the beginning of the movie. To warn those of us with limb differences that we could find it offensive. Limb differences are not evil or scary. Rather than what I would have loved to have seen from them is, okay, right, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do to make this better? How can we educate people? They're obviously not gonna change the film. That's still gonna go ahead. A lot of people are still gonna be affected who are still gonna watch it. I doubt they can actually like, you know, go in and just like take it out of the movie. If it can be added into this one as well, then it can be easily taken out. 
snip, cut that bit out where they like reveal the hands, then maybe that's what they should do. I could do it for you if you want. I'm sure it's very easy. I haven't seen any donations being made to any of the charities of the people that were affected or any other work. Going forward though, I definitely think that Warner Bros could maybe look into the idea of using some of the money from the film to educate people on limb differences. How about donating some of that profit that you are making from the witches to charities who are making a difference for those with limb differences. And then thirdly, we have an apology from the actress Anne Hathaway who plays the witch with the limb difference. And to be honest, I think she's genuine in what she's saying. When I read it, I did feel a bit emotional. I do, however, feel like Anne's apology was sincere. I really liked what Anne Hathaway said. Extremely kind. I think hers was very heartfelt and I think she genuinely meant it. She was sincere with that apology. I think Anne's apology was fantastic. She'd clearly done a lot of research. I felt a lot more genuine. I believe was heartfelt and in fact I found a newfound respect for her and the way that she approached a new way of looking at her character and in fact the world. She posted it on Instagram together with a video from the Lucky Finn project. You hear the music. I am a daughter. I am a sister. No. I am a friend. I am whole. I really loved the video she used, I thought that was great that she reached out to a charity like the Lucky Finn Project. Which is an organisation which basically spread awareness regarding limb difference and really encouraged children with differences to show themselves and not hide who they are. It's a really wonderful video and I will link the video and the apology. It was heartfelt, it was real and in it she acknowledged that from now on she understood that she was an ally to our community. She really apologised and I think she meant that. She didn't intend to upset anybody. I particularly want to say I'm sorry to kids with limb differences. Now that I know better, I promise I'll do better. And I owe a special apology to everyone who loves you as fiercely as I love my own kids. I am sorry I let your family down. She probably has no experience of disability. She, she didn't realise it was offensive. It was very gracious and I truly hope that in the future she will become an advocate. I think probably a lot of the decisions were taken out of her hand and, and I suppose that's probably the biggest worry for me is who is making those decisions? Is there enough representation behind the scenes? I think it's great that Anne has acknowledged the issues and that she's apologised. She's also shared the material for people to go and see what limb difference really is and educate themselves on limb difference, disability and the issues with ableism. Hopefully that will create some change in itself. I love the hashtag not a witch movement that's been happening and I'm glad that Anne Hathaway did use that in her apology. And she really took ownership of the effect that something she helped put out there. I kind of respect her a lot more and it's incredible that one person could do a much better job than a huge media corporation at Warner Brothers. I felt grateful, very very grateful that she had apologised and used her platform to raise that awareness. So I personally really like the fact that she's a celebrity and she's taken this big stage to step up and say, this is what limb difference is, and I personally promise I'm going to do as best as I can by it. I think that's really, really positive to see. She has helped to raise the awareness of limb difference. As is so much with these things, the, the thought wasn't there beforehand, which is really sad, but I do respect when people notice the backlash, notice why there's a backlash and then come out and say yeah we got it wrong and we're really sorry. I am very appreciative of, of that apology however <laughs> the kids aren't going to remember that apology. The kids right now that are dealing that already have to grow up with a limb difference in life believe me when you have a limb difference or you're different physically different or different at all and you're battling this all by yourself it's hard. Fourthly though, also want to talk about the negative comments that I and a lot of others are getting on our posts about being offended by people telling us to not be offended. 
I think even though this issue has been addressed now, there is still a long way to go. I've seen a lot of negative comments from people on articles who just don't understand the concept of ableism um, and why this is an issue. So that really does show that there still is a lot of educating to be done. It's, it's a big deal and it's a big deal because it is a movie. And I, I don't think some people grasp but they think, oh, well, you know, get over it. It's, it's a film, it's not real, it's a witch, it's a fictional character. You know, we're being snowflakes or we're being too easily offended. But with movies and with children, if you're a parent or if you understand how children are, children watch children's movies a bunch. They watch them all the time. So they're more than likely going to watch this over and over and over and over again. They're more likely to see it next year. So it's not just this generation that's going to be impacted by this movie. I think what people have to realize is that disabled bodies are so rarely seen on the screen and when they are, I think productions have a responsibility to show disabled bodies in a realistic light and not have them portrayed as something scary to every single person who says that people are being too sensitive about it i think just i want to promote kindness and just a little bit of awareness for people to think about the people who it impacts when something like that is put on screen it impacts the people who have similar disabilities also for those of them commenting do they or their children have a limb difference no. So do they know what they're talking about? No. I promise you, I do not get offended easily. I have a great sense of humour when it comes to my hand. You have to in this world, I feel. But this, this was, you know, heartbreaking and really upsetting. So yeah, must do better, must do better. Since filming this video, the Lucky Finn Project has said that Warner Brothers has spoken with them and ensured that they will work with them going forward to make sure that there is representation. Also, they apologise for their apology. This is amazing news and of course, we can't wait to see it put into practice. I'm really grateful for everyone who came together to film their viewpoint for me for this video. I think it's been great that we've all come together and been able to share how we're feeling and some steps forward. I will link everyone that's been in the video down below. Please do go check them out and give them a follow. They are all amazing. And if you want to see more videos about limb difference, maybe to do the witches, maybe not to do the witches, then let me know because I have loads of others that are lined up wanting to get involved as well. Also a couple of petitions going around, so I'll link them below if you want to check them out. Please do sign and share those. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and come back for more content, normally with my wife. Also, we are embarking on our baby journey, so if that interests you, speak to you all soon. Peace. Goodbye. <laughs> Fix it. Fix it, Hollywood.